Miss Brian, we have a gallon of water. I put about two and a half cups of dark brown sugar. Um, one and a half cups of kosher salt. It sounds like a lot, but you are brining a turkey. And we are squeezing the juice. Well, my husband needs, I, I, I need his strength to squeeze the juice of lemons and some oranges out. And we're just dropping the whole things in there. And that was about two oranges, I guess. Or was that three oranges? Three oranges. I'll save that last one right over there to go inside the cavity. And we got uh, some apples. Going in with our peppercorn. That's about that's a half a cup. I'm sorry, a fourth of a cup of peppercorn. And then I have a poultry pack here. Fresh herbs going in. Poultry pack has some thyme, rosemary, and bay leaves. Plus, I put a few dried bay leaves in there. And I cut up three apples. Those were whole peppercorns. And you just want to bring this to a boil. Make sure that all of your sugars and your salt is um, cooked out. And left it back in a bit. In this bucket here, this tote, we're adding a gallon of regular water. And so in this tote, when the brine is ready, we're gonna add a 10 pound bag of ice, the brine, and we're gonna set the turkey down in there. The turkey has already been washed and cleaned. Be right back. So we are back and we're going in with 10 pounds of ice. And then we're next thing we're gonna do is go in with the brine that is over here there's your brine it came to a little boil and that um, also mixed in that brine what did I say I forgot to tell him there was a fourth cup of Old Bay seasoning placed in this brine as well so he's gonna be very careful not to splash his wife and we're going in with the brine And we're gonna also go in with another gallon of water. So two of those of water. Some cool water. And that's what that brine looks like, you guys. We want the turkey to be completely submerged in this brine. is helping me and doing all the heavy lifting and this is going to brine for about 24 to 48 hours if you do 48 hours then you definitely need to add some more ice so in case I decide to do 48 hours I will got another bag of ice and he is going in with the turkey set them all down in there get the bag We'll just put part of it in there. But there's your turkey, you guys. We're gonna add a little bit more ice to this. That's not enough. <laughs> but we're gonna add some more ice to this because we did get a second bag of ice. And we'll add some more ice just so that this turkey can be submerged. And, um, and then I'm going to put the top on this turkey being brined in this bucket here and we will let this sit for 24 to 48 hours once it is done brining we will rinse the turkey off with some cool water that is very important you want to get rid of this brine because it definitely is contaminated wash out your bucket if you want to use it for future use i would definitely use you know um, some sort of good good cleaner with bleach in it 
then we'll be ready for the next steps in cooking our Thanksgiving turkey. It'll be fine, just like that. And then we're just gonna put our top on, as I mentioned earlier, let this brine for 24 to 48 and rinse it off and we'll come back to you guys with the next step in the cooking process. Happy Thanksgiving! Say happy Thanksgiving, baby. Happy Thanksgiving! It's gonna be on and popping. What you what are you most ready for, honey? Oh the pecan pie. <laughs> And we're also going to be making, uh, to, to, well, not tonight, but this Thanksgiving, we're going to be doing um, Misha's uh, butter pecan sweet potato pie. So hopefully I'll get to record some of that. I'm not going to promise you guys, but hopefully I'll get to record some of that. See you all in the next step in this process. Thank you for coming on. Oh, wait, I forgot to say Thank you to all of my subscribers. We have reached the 500 subscriber mark. Woo woo! I am too, 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 too excited about that. I thank you all for joining and there will be much more videos to come to all my, um, my OGs, my, uh, I thank you guys for continuing to support and for your new ones, y'all stay tuned and, um, Make sure y'all hit the notification bell because it's going to be, it's going to be lit on this channel. Lit. Holla.